Hello, I'm Charlie's boyfriend and I am here in Hobbycraft today because she's given me £20 and asked me to buy art supplies for her for her next video because apparently that's that's what the kids are doing these days. This is, this is a challenge, so I'm gonna pick some stuff. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I know I've only got £20 to spend, but I think Charlie needs this. Hmm, I think this is a must. Gotta, gotta get your glitter on. Uh, yeah. Stencils. Why not? Gl glittery letters. More glitter. Let's just get... Let's get more glitter. Yeah. Can't do art without paper. I like this color. This is my favorite. Gotta, gotta get your paint. Gotta, shit, gotta, gotta get it. I don't, I don't want you anymore. I don't, get out. Get, get out of here. Now, I've got the bag. Let's just dive into this. Oh, got my hair stuck. Ooh, so we've got some watercolor pencils. I've never actually properly used watercolor pencils, so this will be exciting. I like the idea of that. Um, oh, we got me a mixer. That's very cute. That's very arty. I like that. Wonderful. You never have enough palettes. Um, oh, that's something I bought from Poundland for Halloween. Um, ooh, I got a value craft pack of watercolors. That's exciting. Mmm. Oh, that's cute! Aww, he got me some glittery, like, glue. It says Stardust Stickies. I don't actually know what that's for, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> um, oh, I got some paint brushes and some 4B pencils, which will be fun. Okay, alright, we're getting somewhere. The hell? Oh. Wait. You want me stick? <laughs> I got some alphabet stickers. They're fun. I'm going to match my uh, jumper at the moment. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I will find something. Aww. <laughs> uh, oh, you got me some cards. Okay. All right, probably do something with that as well. So we've got blue, red, green, and white. So that's exciting. Um, ooh, what are these? Oh, it's a stencil. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, that's really cool. Ah. Oh. I like that. That's going to be used, definitely. And I think that's it. Oh, no! I got some more glitter glue! <laughs> oh, I'm really excited now. I like this. I don't know what I'm going to do with the letters, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, I've also bought this for Halloween. You'll see soon, when it hits October, what's the, what this is meant for. Okay! Alright, let's do this! So hello my lovelies! As you've seen, my boyfriend Tom has bought me £20 worth of art supplies and I'm so excited about this piece. I watch a lot of YouTube myself and I have a secret, well, not so secret now, <laughs> addiction to my boyfriend buys and mystery boxes videos. So I thought, hey, why can't I do that too? And here we are! Whilst doing this I also found you can buy subscription boxes like this, so maybe I'll do one of those in the future. 
Admittedly, there's one thing I didn't use in this piece, and this was the 4B pencils. I found that they were really hard to erase, and the watercolour set Tom bought was quite pastel-y, as you can see here, and just not super pigmented. I also bought another watercolour palette when I was in Hobbycraft, and I'm going to be using that too, so I am cheating a tiny bit. Um, I did use the watercolour set that Tom had bought me, but this one was also very cheap, very inexpensive at £3, and it was way more pigmented, and, you know, there's no excuse, I ended up using that one too. I really jumped in headfirst with this piece due to not having a way to sketch out slash like plan beforehand so I must admit the proportions go a little bit off so please forgive me her head uh, to body ratio is pretty odd looking but let's just play that off as artistic licensing <laughs> I really love doing this though uh, because I went in with the colours I felt worked well and I had no idea where I was going to be going with this. I was pumped for the mixed media elements too, like the stencils and the stickers. Um, when I was in college, this reminded like me of what I would do then, which was a lot of mixed media pieces, lots of strange materials that you wouldn't regularly use in art and it's kind of pushed me to those roots again and I want to do more of this in the future. So as you can see I'm just swatching everything as some of the materials I've actually never used before like the watercolour pencils and the glitter glue. I also wanted to see how well the stencil worked with the watercolours because obviously it's watercolour and I find this stencil would probably be better for marker based things, but that might just be me and the, my level of practice with them. I always think it's a really good idea to swatch out new materials just so you can get a feel for them, see how they work and see how the colours look like on paper or whatever material you're using. So yeah, so now I am starting with the illustration. She's quite airy because the colours were very pastel, so I moved along with that vibe. I also really loved the turquoise from the second watercolour palette, and I based her hair off a style that I had last year, which was like a brown ombre to turquoise, it was very fun. Uh, but as always, I get quite bored with hairstyles, so I'm back to a different colour. Now, whilst I am doing this, whilst you watch me draw, I would really like to talk about Inktober because I am so so excited for it to be here and I know that a lot of people take Inktober as a way to flex their creative muscles and I want to do that too. I want to see if I can incorporate it with my videos. So I did ask you guys previously in the comments of my last video what would you like to see for Inktober and I just wanted to go a bit in depth with that. I don't think I'm going to do daily Inktober drawings, I think that's probably <laughs> too much of a big commitment considering I have a lot of commissions and uh, various other bits of work that I do in my daily life. But I was thinking maybe I will do an end of October sketchbook uh, look through, or maybe doing it once a week, so two videos a week or something. I'm not sure, but I am so excited, and I want to know if you guys are excited too. Halloween is my absolute favourite holiday, which is so unsurprising really, if you know me quite well. Um, and it also it means that I get to draw lots of different things that I wouldn't used to. I love the prompt system. Last year's Inktober, like the official Inktober prompts, I was just not feeling, so I think that's why I didn't complete Inktober properly last year. But I don't know if you've seen the new prompts, uh, I definitely recommend you do, but they seem a lot more uh, geared towards me, so I'm very excited. Um, I don't know when this video is actually going to be released, but uh, I will be in Glasgow for MCM with Tom and Sammy Paul. So if you guys are there or going there, um, absolutely please feel free to come say hi. Um, as I'm filming this a week in advance so I'm not sure if I will but I might have some prints available which is very exciting. 
uh, but yeah, I would love to say hello to you guys and see you all, that'd be really, really nice. Um, I went there last year, I wasn't working for Tom last year for that, but I just tagged along, because uh, we eventually went to uh, Nethy in Scotland, where my grandparents grew up. Um, but this time I will be working, so it means I get to meet more of you guys. And I really enjoyed it, it's a lot more calm than London and somewhere in the city. And you do get to spend more time with, you know, people that you are more creatively inclined to talk to and, you know, you meet new people and new fans and, oh, I love it. I think it's so great. And everyone's Scottish, which, you know, is like a such a bonus because the accent is absolutely amazing. But going to Glasgow as well is going to be a bit of a staple for me as last year when I did go, I was still working in retail. I was very tired all the time and I didn't get a lot of, you know, I didn't get a lot of time to illustrate and do what I'm doing now. It was very much a hustle. <laughs> so it will be cool to see in contrast where I've come, you know, how far I've come from last year. And I'm really, really happy that I, where I am right now, uh, I get to do things that I love, like these YouTube videos and creating pieces for myself and also I get to do commissions and work alongside a lot of wonderful people, especially on my Etsy store. I love communicating with you guys and I love seeing what you come up with for me to draw. It's so much fun. But yeah, it's like a... I can't believe that this year is nearly about to end. I don't know where the summer went, I don't know where this year went, there's been so many things like positive and great that have happened to me and I'm going to take this trip as a big, you know, pat on the back for myself because I did and I have worked really hard this year to be where I am and there's loads of improvements, there's still lots of things that I need to be doing and want to be doing but I'm gonna, you know, take this moment to say well done me, I think I've done quite well for myself. I also don't think I've ever mentioned it but I have recently been published. It's not my book, but it's Melanie Murphy's book. I don't know if you guys know her. She's another wonderful Irish YouTuber who just released her first book. And I did some fun little illustrations aside, you know, you know, inside that. And that's another milestone that I'm pretty happy with. You know, I would never have thought last year that I would be in a book and published and seeing my illustrations in print was the most amazing experience. I was so happy to be working with Melanie and she really let me do what I, you know, what I felt would be best for the book. So yeah, it was just a blast. I'm so, so happy about that. Um, you guys are free to check it out. I think in the UK it's in Waterstones, WH Smiths, obviously on Amazon, um, but I'm not sure about anywhere else but obviously you can find the book online um but yeah I, I can't believe i've never actually properly spoken about this everything's been a bit whirlwind lately but i am so jazzed about it i'm so happy and it makes me want to be published you know it makes me want to do more of my own stuff and feel that happiness again of being like hey i'm being shown to the world <laughs> can you tell that i am really grasping <laughs> at straws here with this piece. Um, I just kind of, as I said earlier, I really went with this. I love the colours so much and I just kind of let that have a feel, you know, just slap it all down and see what happens. I wonder if you guys do that or do you plan your work more? Because this was a big, like, I do usually plan a little bit before, but I've never not <laughs> done this before. I was just so excited to use the materials that Tom bought me. I, oh, this was so much fun to do. So I was thinking with the, the letter stickers that I would cut them up, but they were so difficult to get off the paper in terms of like the little ad adhesive. Um, so I ended up using it for her earrings. The stencils were so hard to use with watercolour. I don't know whether that's just me being impatient or it's just hard to get inside of the little nooks, but 
Either way, I'm very happy with how it came out. It was just a bit of a nightmare to use and I really want to buy loads more of these stencils. I know they're probably not meant for art, like in terms of... I think they're meant for like jewellery boxes and spraying things on, but I really want to buy more because my god are they so pretty and also it means that I won't, you know, you can add details to them afterwards. I would totally recommend these stencils, they were so much fun. Um, and yeah, by the end of this piece I'm really just going crazy with this. I really enjoyed the freedom of this piece, but oh my god. Does it look a bit funny with her hand and her body to head ratio? I so apologise for that, it's so like weirdly off-putting to me. But yeah guys, I am done now. I've put my little signature with the little glitter letters and this will also be available on my Etsy shop if you're interested. I'm not sure if I'll make prints of these, but if you guys would like that I will. Uh, I wonder how Squidge feels as well, is he- oh, he's quite interested. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you next week. Bye!